When a company like Rio spends two years developing a new, incredibly slick coating for their fly line, it is vital they have a way to test this slickness that is infallible. No rod guides sliding down a racetrack of fly lines, no subjective touch tests, but something highly accurate, quantifiable and replicable, time after time after slippery time. The scientists at Rio developed such a test with an Instron fiber testing machine and a very sensitive load cell. Normally, this extraordinarily accurate machine tests tippet materials for tensile strength, knot strength and stretch factor. However, our engineers modified it, enabling us to make highly accurate friction tests that can be used to show exactly how much drag there is from the surface of a fly line. The development of Rio's new extreme slickness technology is a perfect way to demonstrate how it works. We start by taking brand new fly lines out of their box. Rio fly lines come off the warehouse shelf while competitors lines are purchased from the local fly shop. Each sample is then miked to ensure they are all exactly the same diameter and the test kept fair. A level piece is cut from the line and one end tied to a weight of 55 grams. The line is then strung over a highly polished chrome wheel and into the jaws of the Instron machine. Each test sample is drawn for 10 inches and the readout shows how much drag the machine is measuring. The slicker the sample is, the lower a reading will be in relation to the baseline. A sample that produces a low, flat, level graph line is very slick and smooth, while a sample that has peaks and troughs on the reading indicates that the sample catches and drags on the chrome wheel and is not so slick. Today we are testing a sample of a fly line produced with the new XS technology, a sample of a Rio fly line with Agent X and no XS technology, and a sample from two of our competitors lines. We'll start with a sample of a trout line without XS technology. Next, we'll perform the same test with a competitive sample. Now, a different competitor's line sample. Finally, let's look at a sample of Rio Gold fly line with excess technology. If you take a look at the completed graph, you will see that the line with the most amount of drag has a high wavy line. The other competitive sample fared better, while the smooth coating of the Agent X line illustrated a vast improvement. The final sample at the bottom of the graph is the slickest and shows how much slicker a line with excess technology really is. When you look at a graph like this, with four individual tests of one sample, you can see that each time the line is drawn over the chrome wheel, it loses a bit of slickness and starts to get jaggy. 
With extreme slickness technology, the four samples test much more consistently and keep their smooth and slick coating.